not knowing what the future holds, but knowing who holds the future. This quote means so much to me. It explains how being a Christian means to trust in God. As you can tell, Christianity is a huge part of my life. My name is Allie Golson, and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about myself. I grew up in Marion, Illinois, but now I live in Kentucky. My parents divorced when I was about six years old. Both of my parents remarried years later. My mom, Tamara O'Neill, is mostly a stay-at-home mom, but she also subs at the school I go to. My stepdad, Matt O'Neill, works at a machine shop in Mayfield. I turned 17 December 1st, and I'm a junior at Carlisle County High School. Later in the future, I plan to do something in the medical field. Some of my personal traits are that I can be shy and quiet. I'm definitely not the loudest person in the room, but I'm not the quietest. Hanging out with my friends is something I love doing. I do cheer, and it takes up most of my time, and there's a pretty good chance I'm laughing if I'm with my friends. I've always been an only child, and I was the first grandkid in our family. As you can tell, I was favored a lot. When my mom remarried, we all grew very close with each other. I love getting all the attention and time with them. One day, my mom told me that they had planned on having a baby together. I honestly really didn't know what to think. A part of me was excited, but another part was terrified. Soon after, my mom was pregnant. We all went to the ultrasounds and all the doctor's meetings, and I became very excited for my new brother or sister. After school one day, I came home, and she had told me she was having two baby boys, and I couldn't believe it. The day finally came and my mom was going into labor. She ended up having to have a C-section. After all the excitement went away, reality hit and I was overwhelmed. My mom was constantly giving, her all, giving the boys all of their attention to her. My family came over to help a lot and it was all they seemed to care about. That was when I knew I was no longer an only child. They needed to get all the attention and care they could get. The older the twins got, the more interesting it was to be around them. They started to develop their own unique personalities. Hudson loved getting to laugh and likes to have attention. He would jump in a puddle of mud and play in it for hours if he could. Hayden is pretty much the exact opposite. He doesn't mind to play alone and he would rather watch movies. He hates when food or anything else gets on him. These boys have taught me to be more responsible. I've learned to watch them carefully and not to take my eyes off them or they will for sure be getting into something that they're not supposed to be. I not only watch over them sometimes, but I get to play with them and be their big sister. They have taught me to take interest in what others like. I watch the silliest TV shows with them almost every morning, but seeing their smiles and hearing their laughs makes it well worth it. Another important lesson they have taught me is to let the little things go and not make everything such a big deal. Hudson and Hayden have changed my life in ways that I could never have imagined. They are the first people I miss when I leave home. I'm so blessed to have two amazing little boys in my life. Although they can be a handful and can be stressful at times, I wouldn't change the way things are for the world. I would not be the person I am today if it weren't for them. Now that you know all about me, I hope that you liked everything you heard. Thank you.